Hey guys, this past week we talked about how to take a video that isn't a perfect rectangle for our HD video and how to make it work on a horizontal video. I know it was hard because you couldn't see it in Premiere, so I'm going to show you now how you would do that in Premiere. So we have here our picture of El Chapo, our graphic. We're going to drag it into our timeline. However, in our timeline we notice it doesn't fit, it doesn't fill everything. So here are our options. First, I would go right click and scroll down to I see set to frame size. And what that does is it makes it fit top and bottom at least. Sometimes it'll make it fit side to side, but for this one, it only fits top to bottom. So now you still have black bars on the left and on the right. So here's what you do. You hold Alt and drag your video up to make Oops, Alt, click, drag, click, Alt, drag. Yeah, somehow you hold Alt, you click, and you drag, and you make a duplicate. Our top one is going to stay the same. It's this bottom one that we are going to adjust. We're going to go up to editing. And what we want to do is scale it up till it fits the frame. So about that. That fills in the black bars on either side. Now, it looks kind of weird like this. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to our effects panel. And then under our handy favorites folder, we're going to find the one that says Gaussian Blur. And drag that to the one on bottom. So now we've dragged it onto the one on bottom, but you notice nothing has changed. That's because over here in our effects panel, our blurriness is set to zero. So what we need to do is drag it until it's blurred what we like. Now, this is infinite. You can go up to a thousand, in which case it's just a blur. So I would probably go somewhere, let's try a hundred. That's still pretty blurred. Maybe that'll be okay. Thank you for auto saving that premiere. Maybe we only want 60. So now we have taken our square-ish video and made it fit full frame without it looking weird. Now, this is a great alternative. However, it does not need to be the way we do everything. So let's take a look at our sports score. So now this sports score doesn't fit, fit the frame. So let's go through our progression again. We're going to right click it, pull down until it sets to frame size and now it fills. If you're still unsure, just pause this video, rewind it and watch it again. But this would be how you would take a square video and make it fit in a rectangle full frame image.